Hello everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Thursday, April 6th, 2023. Hi Joanne. And can you hear me okay? Let's see. There we go. Hi Melissa. Okay, so we'll give everybody about 30 seconds to get in here. There's Tracy. Okay, so you can hear me. Perfect. Yay. Th isn't this a pretty sight? I should go ahead and open this while we're waiting for everyone to get here, right? Perfect. Okay, do I need to raise the volume up at all? I don't want it too loud because, um, yeah, I don't want it too loud because I'm gonna be crinkling a lot of cellophane. I'm actually standing today, so um, I can't sit down on these pre-order haul videos, right? I'm unpacking the ink pads so we can take a look at them. Although I think it's easier to tell what the colors look like with the cardstock. So let me grab that. Okay, are we ready to get started? Um, yeah, we're, let's get started. Okay, so this just this literally just arrived. Oh, I just noticed y'all can see the camera up above. Um, yeah, this just arrived like not even 30 minutes ago. Uh, so this pack of paper is the 2023 new core colors. I need to turn the volume up. Okay, let's see if I can. Hmm. Let's do one more task. Let's see. Um, manual. Okay, what about that? Is that is that volume higher? I think I have it on like a hundred percent. Volume up more. You know, I think what I'm gonna do is bring the mic closer to me. I just started using this mic um, because I was noticing, um, okay, what about now? Is that better? Volume up some more. Um, is it better now? Hopefully. I'll, I'll try to get closer to the mic. How about that? Okay, so I'll just keep talking until y'all let me know if the volume's better or worse. Well, it can't be worse. It's got to be a little bit better, right? Y'all um, try turning your volume up on your end for me just to see if maybe that's it. I don't think I can go any higher. I don't want a mic that you can hear me breathing. <laughs> okay, so these... This y'all could do a real test, right? To see if I know my colors. So these are the new colors that are coming in. Some are returning from past appearances. So this is Lemon Lolly. I love it. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah, and then this is the Bubble Bath. Love that. This was one that we had before, Lemon Lime Twist. We already know about Fresh Freesia because that was an in color. I think this is, mm, let's look at the ink pads. Anyway, those are the cardstock colors. We'll look at the ink pads real quick too. So I've checked the box for the colors or for the cardstock. Now for the ink pads, yeah, the Lemon Lolly. A lemon lime twist that's a returning color pecan pie pretty peacock you've already seen that fresh freesia or not fresh freesia that's bubble bath you know they're kind of similar i think um they're a little similar right 
We'll compare the cardstock though. Blueberry bushel, that's another reti uh, returning color. Misty Moonlight's a returning color. Lost Lagoon's returning. Berry Burst and then Azure. Azure, how the world do you say that? Afternoon. So that is our core colors now. And this is all the Stampin' Blend markers and the ink refills. So I'm going to move these out of the way now because you don't need to see the, the ink refills. You've already seen the cardstock and the, the ink pads. Now let's go over the new in colors. You're very welcome. I'm still learning this mic. It's brand new and so I'm, I'm hoping that I can actually get the volume to go too high so that maybe y'all have to adjust your volume down but that doesn't seem to be happening yet. I think I'm going to really love this pebble path. So let's see. This is boho blue, something wheat. <laughs> Here, let's get the ribbon. Uh, wild wheat. Um, copper clay. Boho blue. Um, moody mauve. And then the pebble pa pebbled, pebbled path. Okay, so someone was asking me about the um, this color, the copper clay. They asked how similar was it to uh, Cajun Craze. So I'm going to jump over there real quick and grab it. And then someone also asked about the past color mauve mist that we had back when I became a demonstrator. I don't have any mauve mist in my possession or um, Rococo Rose. So I can't really compare that color for you. This is a little bit like brocade blue from a long time ago, but I think it's a little lighter. So I'm going to grab Cajun Craze really quick just so we can answer that question. Okay, so sorry, my husband has decided to mow the lawn. <laughs> Hopefully he'll do the backyard really quick. Okay, so this is Cajun Craze, and this is Copper Clay. So a pretty big difference, but I think they coordinate really well together. And yes, I'm going to open the ribbon because I love ribbon, and I know that not everyone does. Go on, shoo. <laughs> he doesn't get that I'm live. I'm trying to give him the frowny face, like, go on. Um, okay, so this is the Pebbled Path, and you're going to love this ribbon. It's soft, and it's easy to tie a bow. Okay, good, he moved. He got the hint. Well, come on. Isn't that pretty ribbon? So that's the Pebbled Path. I'm going to end up accidentally calling this one Mauve Miss, although it's it's a lot darker. And then Boho. Boho Blue reminds me of like that color we all used to have in our kitchens in the, what was that, the early 90s? Like a country blue, right? Even I had wallpaper that had that color in it back in the day. Oh, I love this ribbon. I do feel like our new catalog is ribbon poor. I'm just gonna say, yeah, it's it's seriously ribbon poor. Um, and I love ribbon, so I'm gonna have a real hard time. It's gonna be a challenge, I should say. Okay, there's all the ribbons. Now, I we were able to order one other pack of ribbon, which, oh, I love it so much. And let me show you that. This is the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And it has this beautiful color. Um, this is like, we had a ribbon like this before. Um, I think it was a, a pool party color or a coastal cabana color. It's really soft and pretty. I love it. And then this is the other color with it. I love this kind of ribbon too. I could just use this. If we could just get this ribbon in every color in the catalog, I would be tickled pink. So... Okay, that's all the ribbon that we could pre-order, unless I missed something, and I don't think I did. Now let's talk about stamp sets. Um, we're going to go over the bundle ones first. 
and I tried to open them before I went live, but I wasn't too successful. This is Zany Zoo, and for my card club ladies, this is what we're using in May. And I know I'm taking a big chance, but that's okay. I gotta, I gotta roll the dice, right? So this is gonna be the stamp set that we're using for card club, and um, I'm gonna show you those dies now. So here's the coordinating dies. I really like this scallop. So remember we had a die this um, in the retirement list that I said, oh no, I'm gonna miss the scallop. Well, there's our scallop. And then here is a nice element right here too. And look, here's a, a tree and a little tree. So you can use this set for Christmas too. Yeah, okay. Um, let me put this back in here. Any questions about that? I think the ribbon is bubble bath, but since I don't have the catalog, I can't look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got my order, but I still don't have a catalog. The next one is the little monkey. Um, I love this one too. I, and I, I've been asking for monkeys for a really long time. Uh, because there was another company years ago that used to come out with a monkey like every quarter or something and we would all rush to the store to get it so I'm so happy to have monkeys and then we also have the coordinating punch so here's a little warning for y'all if you like this one you better order it immediately because otherwise it's going to be like the um the bunny and you might not get it for eight months <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, okay, the next stamp set and die, the next bundle is birthday balloons. And the coordinating dies. Ooh, those are beautiful. Wow, that's different. And look at this big old balloon collage or coll mm, grouping, whatever it's called. Yes, I love Zany Zoo. Hi, Denise. I am okay. That is about the extent of what I can say. Yeah. My body is not yet adapted to the medicine. Okay, Timeless Arrangements is next. I love these greetings. Love, love, love. You're my everything. Your kindness means everything to me. You make me smile. You are so kind. Um, I really appreciate you. Oh, these, and I love the thank you. The thank you is very simple. Um, a very big thanks. Hope your day is filled with everything good. I love this set. Okay, so now let's check out the dies. I think this is like that other set and the dies. No, I lied. It don't coordinate with it, does it? Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, I like this rectangle. These rectangles, they're smaller. They're smaller than, okay, this die is a keeper die. I'm going to warn y'all. I'll be using this one because uh, I, our stitched rectangles dies, they are retiring, right? Grr. So this will take the place. Yes, it will take me a month or two or three to get over the retirement list. I'm an emotional person. What can I say? The next one is Countryside Corners. And then we have this beautiful embossing folder. I don't know if you, it's hard for you to see with my all white desk here. Um, let me get a piece of cardstock. This will help. See how pretty that is? Really pretty. Not paisley, but a bunch of different flowers and stems. Um, and then there's also dies. So let's open those up. Um, I believe, yes, I've got the paper for the Zany Zoo, so we'll grab that uh, when we're done with the stamps. Ooh, I like this. So even if you don't like the stamp set, which I don't know why you wouldn't, it's going to be so awesome to be able to stamp that. And then, but look at these dies. Woohoo! And I'll be able to make a box with a couple of those, right? Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, wonderful Thoughts. I almost didn't get this one because 
I'm not a big fan of a lot of script because I can't even write cursive. Um, I know. How did I graduate school and not be able to cursive write? I did. Um, I actually, I don't even know. Do they even teach that anymore in school? Just saying. Uh, now, this stamp set does coordinate with the word. So I'll do the same thing I did last time, and I'll create you a nice little PDF that will match up. Because I'm like, y'all, if I look at this, I'm like, I don't even know which greeting that went with. I like this and this one. Hmm. Okay, what do y'all think? Hi, Cliffy. You're vi visiting your grandbabies. Were you here the other night when I mentioned I got to see Olivia? She is growing like a weed. Okay, Lasting Joy is another stamp set I got. Oh, the glare. Sorry, the lights. I missed your birthday. How many of y'all can say that? I like this one too. Hoping for better days ahead. I need to send a couple of those cards for some people. Okay, Circle Saiyans is the next bundle. Is it a bundle? I don't I think this is a bundle. So we now have a two and three eight circle punch. I am so thankful to have a circle punch again. I still wish we had, you know, a bunch of them, but I'll take what I can get. Two and three eighths. So awesome. And this is Circle Saiyans. And now we have uh, two more bundles that I didn't get a chance to open the dies, so I will now. Love, love, love this one. Look, there's a sewing machine um, and a stamp and cut and emboss machine. So this is Crafting With You and then the Crafting With You dies. Oh, that's so, oh my gosh, that's a, is that the sewing machine die? Oh, look at this keeper. Look at that. Is that, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's probably an embroidery hoop, right? I think so. Huh. Okay. Scissors, a ruler. Oh, that's the sewing machine right there. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to use them. I'm really excited about this one. Can't y'all tell? I think this is Irene Sapp. I met her when we were in Utah last year. So, love that. Cheerful Daisies is the next one. Very pretty, right? I like the artwork. And here's the dies. Ruh -ruh, I ripped that. Like that one too. Ooh, these are big. Okay. Um, oh, so Rebecca says she thinks that's a trimmer. Oh, that's a good point. I'm not taking them off the sheet until I make my photocopies because making the copies really, really, really is so helpful. Get all these out of the way, and then I'm going to get the designer series paper. I guess I could move the keyboard, right? I got some serious glow. Um, you know what? Let me get my grid paper because even even if it's a different there, that helps focus the camera, right? Not all those lights. Okay, so we'll cover this paper last. And we'll color this cover this paper last. So let's look at the this is my favorite, of course. Oh my gosh, is it not the cutest? Oh, okay. Let me get my scissors. This is the zoo crew. So this is what we'll be moving moving. Using in May. And yes, I'm gonna have to get up at like you know, the wee hours of the morning to get my order in really quick. Um, okay, so this, uh, look, so cute. A scooter, a bicycle. I can't remember the name of that. Is that uh, roller skates. Okay, so this is the A side. And then this is the B side. 
Yay! I love the A and the B, right? Can y'all see that? I should put the B under the A. Yeah. Okay. Now. Oh, look! So, A and B. Is, I think that's a, that's, I don't think, is that an, I thought that was an anteater. Isn't that an anteater? Is that another term for an anteater? I think that's an anteater. And then this is an armadillo, right? I never claim to know all my animals, but I try. Oh, look at the, oh my gosh, I just love it. So I'm assuming that's a sloth. And uh, um, is that a goat or is there another term? Porcupine. This is so fun. And there's the B side. Oh, the frog and the turtle. So A. Oh, it's an aardvark. I don't even know what an aardvark is. <laughs> ah. Okay, so A and B. So a beaver. What's that thing? Okay, A. There's me. There's us a hippopotamus. And what's that? That was like a prairie dog. Is that Timon? And then B. Oh, A. I just love this. Whoever made this, they were thinking of me. I'm kidding. I know they weren't, but I do love it. Look at this. And the butterflies, the trees. Oh, yay. Okay, so that that is a wonderful pack of paper, in my opinion. The next pack of paper is called Countryside Inn. So this is the A side, and this is the B. I love that they coordinate. Oh, a bunny. A. And then B. Oh, and I like that color together. That's going to make a beautiful bag or box. Oh, it's a meerkat. <laughs> See, I told y'all, I think I know my animals, but not really. And then here is a bird or an owl. It's a bird. Yeah. And then the B side. Yeah, when I'm done showing all the paper, uh, we'll go back and pull the Zoo Crew dies. We'll get the dies and compare it to the paper. And then here's A. I actually really love this pack of paper. I know some of y'all are not going to believe it, but blue was one of my, was my most favorite color for a really long time, especially navy. Oh, here's another animal. A fox. So A and then the B side. Yeah, this is going to be a popular pack of paper. And then A and B. And I will be doing paper shares. Um, I'll announce them as we get closer to the catalog launching. We can't technically take anybody's money right now. It has to be seven days before the catalog goes live. Now this is called Fresh as a Daisy. Oh, Jennifer says she's a bunny mama. It's really pretty paper. <clears throat> this is kind of different. I like it though. Oh, there's that mauve color. So this is A and this is B. I'm gonna turn this upside down. A and B. I like this one. A and B. I don't know about the colors in this one. I'm, I got mixed emotions. The colors are just a little different from what I was expecting. It's kind of like when you get fabric in. You order it online and you, you think it looks one way on, online and then when you get it in person it looks very different. That's a pretty sheet. And they do coordinate because, you know, it's inside the middle of the flower. And then A and B. Oh, 
And that don't coordinate, but pretty. Okay, I think, let's see. You don't need to see this one because this is just the end colors in 12 by 12. So that's not necessary. This pack of paper is the Gold Celebration. I never use this stuff. I always get it to show y'all what it looks like, but then I never really know how to use it. Um, but there's that. And I'm gonna show you, so we got one, two more packs to show you. So this is the uh, Bright and Beautiful. It goes with that um, balloon. I know my camera is far, far, far away. Should I zoom in some more? Maybe I should. There you go. Okay. Let's start at the back. So this is the B side and this is the A side. And I'm removing the extras. This is the A side and this is the B side. Moving the extras. This is the A side and this is the B side. A, B. I love this pack of paper. A, B, A, B. A, B. Don't y'all love this one? A, B, A, and B. A, and B. A, B, A. And B. What do y'all think? Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, and I think online you couldn't really tell how beautiful it, it, it is, but yeah, it's a fabulous pack of paper. Okay, I don't want to mess up the order of anything. So now I want to show you um, what the, the, the stacks look like now. So these are the assortments. I did not get all of them. I didn't get, um, or did I? No, maybe I did. No, I think I'm missing one color. Anywho, so these are the stacks. Um, so this is uh, A side, and this is B side, and A and B. So then all the colors that we have let me get a color that I actually really like. That's not my favorite color. Sorry if it's yours. Okay, A, B, A, and B. So our designer series paper stacks now have these four patterns in all the different colors. Yeah, okay. I believe that's real red. And what is that, the clover color? I can't remember. I'm going to show you two embellishments that we have. These were the only ones we could order, unless I miss something. I have to say, out of all the years I've done a pre-order, it was one of the most stressful ever. Uh, this is the adhesive-backed solid gems. And there's what they look like. Pretty, right? And then this one is the 2023 through 2025 in color dots. Ooh, I really love that pebble color. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, let's look at those in colors again. So we've got the Oh, this is that wheat color. Okay, that makes sense now. So the wheat, the mauvey color, which is 
there. Um, copper is that one. And then the pebbled. That's a beautiful color. I don't think we've ever had a color like that before, have we? Okay, the only other thing I have, well, I have two more things to show you, is we have a new style ink, ink stamp and write marker. I was going to call it an ink pad. It's not an ink pad. Um, the design has changed, and I don't really know what changed because I didn't watch the video that came out. But I'm going to open this up now, and we're going to look at the difference. So I'm going to grab one of my older markers. This is the, well, let's open this one. Yeah, I didn't get all the color families because, as you can already see, this is a lot of a lot to order anyway, right? I wanted to look at the bubble bath. Um, so let's get some paper. Well, it'd be nice if I had a large piece. Here we go. So this is Lost Lagoon. So the tip. Oh wow. And then this one. Oh, that's so much better. Um, I want to show you a bubble bath real quick. It looks a little on the purple side. It's actually not baby pink. Is This is fresh freesia. No wonder. I take it back. Ignore me, please. This is bubble bath. Um, okay. Bubble bath. Oh, it is pink. I love it. Someone was complaining already without seeing it. I'm like, well, how can you complain without seeing it? It's actually a really pretty color. Um, so we're going to compare the old markers. I'm, I'm not going to get any of the same colors. So let's get, so here is starry sky. And so here is the tip of the starry sky. And then here's the tip. So look at the difference. So they're more like the Stampin' Blend markers. But don't forget, these are water-based water and the blend markers are alcohol-based. Okay? So old style, new style. I think you're going to really like it. And the tip that you're going to really love, let me, let me get that in, is the, the smaller tip. It's now more of a, a bullet tip. Whereas the old one was just like an invisible line. <laughs> See what I mean? That, that line is so little. And like to color, it just, it just never really worked. So I think you're going to really like these new ones. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're going to love them. Absolutely. I can't wait to get rid of all the old ones. I'm going to have to do some kind of drawing or something. Yeah. Um... Did I scare you? What did I scare you on, Cliffy? What did I do? Okay, I'm going to put these back in here so that I don't get them all mixed up with everything else. And I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, I do have one more thing to show you. We were able to order this card stand. And... Um, you know, I don't really know how the thing works, to be honest. I, I, I ordered it, and then I'm like, okay, how does this work? How, like, oh, oh, that's how it works. Can y'all see that? Wait, how does that hold it? Let's see, I gotta make sure I get a card that, um, oh, it's like magic. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know. I'm trying to make sure I get a card that it's okay I show you because my card club cards, I don't want to whip out. Oh, there's a little lip under there. Sometimes I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So there's a little, little, I guess you call it a lip. Yeah, and it, and it, and it holds your cards perfectly. Anywho, if y'all didn't order that, it's in the supplies. I can't remember if it's available for customers or not, but I ordered myself one because I'm like, well, yeah, I'd like to have a little card display, right? I think it'll hold three across. Yeah, anywho. Um, oh, I said the pink might be more purple. 
Um, okay, the paper. We were gonna discuss the uh, the zoo paper real quick to see about it matching the dies because I have heard that it matches the dies, but since I just got my order in right before I went live, how would I really know? Um, where'd I put that stamp set? There's the monkey. Here it is. Well, that's the stamp set, but not the dies. I don't know where I put the dies. Okay, countryside, timeless, beautiful. My phone's a dinging. My husband's probably saying, where's lunch? Help! Do y'all ever, when you're in your craft room, do you ever think that someone came in and stole something? Like little, um, little thieves? Here it is on the very bottom. Uh, the card display uh, is in the, um, where we can order like the cups. So like, like when we could order these cups, Stampin' Up cups and the hat, it's in that same area. Yeah. Okay, the dies that y'all been waiting on. So here is the alligator on the whatever. So let's find that one. I'm doing this for my sake as well as y'all's because I kind of really want to know as well what, what matches and what doesn't. So, um, Okay, so that one matches. The alligator on the bicycle has its own die. Oh, no, I was supposed to take a picture first. Grr, because I'll never get them back. Somebody tell me, how was this positioned on there? Was it like that? Hold on. I'm going to take a picture with my phone so I'll remember. I always scan these before I take them off the sheets because if I don't, I can never, it's like a puzzle. I can never figure out how to get it back. Okay. Now. Now we can take them off. <laughs> okay. So Mary Lou says that there's elves that come and take your stuff. Thank you. I am not alone, right? Okay. So the next one is the... Um, I don't know if this is a llama or... Um, uh oh, do I have glue on something? I do. Is it a llama or a neem, neem, whatever? What's the other one? Okay, where is that paper? I know I saw one because it was so funny. Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah, so that die matches that one. Um, then we've got this guy, this one, I think this goes with, yeah, so this one goes with the little, mm, I'm looking to see if that's in the paper. Yeah, right here. Oh, wow, that's going to make the paper go on back order because it's going to be so popular. Everyone's going to want it. And then this one is um, that image. So is that in the paper? Oh, yeah. Look right here. So cute. Um, and then we've got the turtle, I'm assuming. Yep. So wherever the turtle is, right here, and then the last one is the raccoon with the balloons. 
did I tell y'all we just got back from the tax place? I always get so incredibly stressed out. The good thing, well, the only, so the only good thing about the decline in sales is the decline in having to pay taxes. So it's like, I didn't even have to pay anything today, thank goodness. I usually pay quarterly. Um, there we go. Yeah, so I'm actually not stressed out today. I mean, I was, and now I'm not, thank goodness. Okay, any questions? Anything? Oh, it's an emu. Emu? Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden now I'm forgetting all my words. I get, I'm like a child during Christmas when I get new catalog product. Even though I've been a demonstrator for over 20 years, I still get just as excited because I love it. I don't know if it's a llama. You know, I think there's a difference between their their head or their ears. But I don't know what the difference is. I couldn't tell you. And it's okay. You can call them a llama or whatever the other one is. What's, what's the two? They're both cute. Actually, the one that's not the llama is actually the prettier of the two. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scroll back a little bit and see if... Uh, alpaca! Yes! Thank you! Alpacas are actually cuter than llamas. Yeah, alpaca is the, the term, the name. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Because there's so many animals right here in front of me. It Well, I don't know if it's an alpaca or a llama. It's one of the two. And I think they both get, people get them mixed up all the time. But the alpacas are really cute. I think their faces are cuter. <laughs> I feel bad saying that. Um, did I mention a PDF? I am going to, let me get the one I have now. So, who asked me that? Your comment just disappeared. So, on the, um, on the, um, stamp set that has all the greetings. I know, I probably shouldn't have been clicking my fingers on camera either. Um, I'm being sarcastic. So, whatever stamp set that was that has the coordinating dies, I will create a, a PDF just like I did last time. It will be free. All my stuff's free, and you'll be able... So here's what I do. Here's how I did this, in case you want to do it for yourself. Uh, if you're my customer or anybody, it's free on my website. But what I did was I just scanned the copy, scanned the dies, and then imported it into my photo editing software, and then I just typed the words that's in the stamp set. So that's how I did it. It's no secret. I just photocopied or I scanned. Again, I scanned the dies imported that in, that image into my photo editing software and then added the words okay so pretty easy a little time consuming but not much okay what other questions you have for me that one was a good question uh cliffy says alpaca spit llamas don't i didn't know that can i so veronica wants to see the countryside stamp here you go. It's countryside corners, right? Uh, the one in the picture, what do we look for on your website for that one? Um, if you can't find it, let me know and I'll send you the link. It's under printables, uh, but if you just type in, well, let me, actually, because I'm right here in front of my computer, so you know what? I can actually get the link to it and post it right in the comments. I, fit, I forget that I have this technology. Um, yeah, so just give me one single second. I'm gonna give you a link. Where's my keyboard? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna give you a link to my print library copy, and it's right at the very top. So the Stampin' Blend markers, there you go. There's the link to that. And as you know, I have the, um, the labels for the Stampin' Blend markers. So that's on that same page, but I will be updating this. So I'll get it updated before the new catalog goes live, but it will not be in the next week or so because I'm smack dab in the middle of cutting for Card Club. So it'll have to come after Card Club. They are the priority uh, for the next week and a half, two weeks. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so Mary Lou says that llama spit too. I thought so. <laughs> um, okay. You got the link. Oh, Sue got her chick candy. You're very welcome. My pleasure. I'm glad you like the paper. Is there a die for the fox on the scooter? Um, no, there is not, sadly. But he's pretty easy to fussy cut. I mean, if you look at it, the lines are pretty easy to fussy cut. Yeah, just fussy cut that one. Uh, okay, I answered that question. Alpacas have uh, what shaped ears and llamas have smaller ears. So llamas have smaller ears. Are those big or those little? <laughs> Does the hippo match our hippo dyes? We don't have the hippo dyes anymore, right? Yeah, I don't think we had, didn't the hippo dyes retire last year? Yeah, we don't have the hippo dyes anymore, and I don't have them in my studio. Once it retires, um, it leaves. Yeah, because I can remember being kind of sad that the hippo dyes um, retired last year. And I can't believe I actually remembered that. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at Ramona because she says that she usually finds the stuff right in front of her face. I agree. Me too. <laughs> it's like literally, fee literally if it was a, like a snake, it would have bit me, right? Yeah, it's usually right in front of my face as well. Um, okay. Just reading comments really quick. Yes, so the, the bubble bath, let me get that color again so that we can recap on the color. And another thing I was going to do is I was going to show you the difference between pink purette and bubble bath. Okay, this is bubble bath. So I kept pink pirouette because I love it. And this is the old powder pink, which to me was not really very pink. Um, so this is the old pink pirouette that we all loved. This is more of a true baby pink, the pirouette that's retired. But you know what? I, I, I'm not going to, I still like it. It's, but it is more of a, a bubblegum pink instead of a, um, a baby pink but it can still be used for baby pink you know what I mean let me get um, what was the color well oh I was gonna show you flirty flamingo I probably should have turned my desk around whoa that don't even look like pink right whoo that that looks a little corally anyway I'm happy I'm yeah you just can't compare it to pink pirouette because it is a completely different color. I don't, I still think it could be more of a baby pink because we don't really have a baby pink. So this is going to be my baby pink. Uh, Carol says that the wheat reminds her of the brown sugar, the baked brown sugar. Um, yeah, I, I would agree. I think that pe people that liked that color absolutely I don't disagree and what didn't we have a cinnamon cider that was similar to um, okay I think I've answered all the questions so before I sign off I just want to say if I missed a question uh, use my help desk um, let me put up the email real quick if I missed your question shoot me an email there's my email and uh, I'll be happy to answer you. I will be uh, somewhat busy, uh, like I said, over the next couple weeks cutting for card club. So, um, yeah, I will be busy, but I will still answer questions. Is the countryside stamp a background stamp? 
Uh, countryside Corners. Oh, grr, it is. So you have to stamp it. <laughs> so you have to stamp it once. It's kind of like that messages, that one message stamp set. Thank you for asking that question. So yeah, it's a background. I still think the dyes are fabulous. So this is, so you're not really going to be able, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, well, my take on this is not the same as it was 15 minutes ago. I still like it. I just don't know how you're going to, you're not just, you're just not going to be able to stamp that dotted line. And then, yeah, the dies are fabulous though. Some people really love background stamps and use them a lot. I have a hard time using them. So, okay. What other questions? That was a good one, Chris. Okay, I hear my husband calling my name. I'm going to have to go. Thank you, Mary. That was so nice. I appreciate it. Aw. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. My husband's calling. It's past lunchtime. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great weekend. I will not be working tomorrow because it's Easter weekend, right? So happy Easter, everyone. And I will see y'all next Tuesday. Bye.